a complete sustainability approach. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 138. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 138, November 15th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our email list. Or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transfer the final 50% of the written content for the energy lesson plan to the website. You can see that here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of energy. We additionally completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the energy lesson plan to the website. You can see this mind map here. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the second third of the sustainability lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part for that to about 65% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed an additional 10% on the streamlined version of our food self sufficiency transition plan page, bringing that to approximately 30% complete. This week, we added a breakout page for the detailed calculations by naturopathic Dr. Matt Maturano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your VQ to the Food Self Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are pumpkin fennel breakfast muffins, stuffed pasta shells, and seven layer slaw. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued working on the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week include another French drain drawing update incorporating the corbeling and floor changes that you can see here. Plus, we did more geotextile and polyethylene dimension updates to the narrative. We'd say this brings us to 52% complete with this total rewrite and update. Additionally, we sized and added door access to the kitchen loft for the crowdfunding campaign dome. And Chelsea Augustine, architect, also started updating the compressed earthblock village pod 4 classroom and other shared community spaces, which you can see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician 
if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week, we integrated a new shelving design and updated shelving curve that you can see here. We'd say we are now 72% done with the complete 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued developing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are renders for the final structural design for the chairs for the Duplicable City Center library. Some minor dimension changes are still needed, but the designs you see here are the final designs for these chairs that will be built from recycled pipe and be usable as both chairs and as a table, as shown here. Jarvis Sow, industrial designer, also began designing the pipe shelving in 3D for the library. Here are the initial 3D images for this work in progress. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued work on the control systems design. These are pictures of Mike describing layout changes with relation to power supply. And these pictures are Mike using some of the hardware he's working on now to explain the process he and Lucas will be going through to build the first actual physical control board. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began building another new page called Copyrights, Trademarks, Patents, and using them to support open source and free sharing. We're creating this new page with the help of Oz Chersky, a lawyer specializing in trademark copyright law, and it teaches why copyrights, trademarks, and patents are important to maintaining open source creations as open source. We'd say we're about 50% done with this new page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community believes that a complete sustainability approach has the potential to positively and permanently change the life of everyone on this planet. We believe that we have the ability through a complete sustainability approach to create a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And so our idea is that if we can make this idea easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And we call those teacher, the complete idea, we call this complete idea a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that is designed specifically to teach others how to live a completely sustainable way too. Now, our idea of a complete sustainability approach is combining physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education, highest good economics, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as a way of life that will provide more of what people want, more time to enjoy the things that they want, more abundance, and less stress. A way of living that most people will consider to be better in the way that they're living now. And it just happens to really do wonderful things for the planet as well. As a matter of fact, it works best because through sustainable infrastructure, you can lower your overhead. And through cooperation and collaboration and working together, highest good economics, education model of fulfilled living practices, putting all those things together, it creates a way of life that people want to visit and experience. The more people that visit and experience it, the more people want to replicate it. And our goal is to open source all those foundations, to open source the food infrastructure, the housing infrastructure, the energy infrastructure, the education infrastructure, the economics infrastructure, the fulfilled living model, as well as the true earth stewardship to open source all of those elements so that they can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete model as a teacher demonstration community village city or hub to be built anywhere in the world. We call this a solution model that will help to create additional solution creating models, a self-replicating model of sustainability designed to provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now and teach others to do the same thing. This is how one community is working to create a better world for everybody.
This model is designed to simultaneously tackle all of the challenges of our generation and generations to come, and a model that is flexible, adaptable, that could be melded and molded to meet the differing needs and desires of different groups and individuals, and to create infinite open source iterations, open source and free shared iterations and versions of this teacher demonstration hub so people can create and live the way that they want to, bringing other like-minded individuals to participate in the process and then sharing the process because the whole thing is built on a model that is designed so that the more you share it, the more successful it is meant to be. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, we invite you to participate. We have lots of different ways to do that. And we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that this is possible, that want to see it happen, and that would like to be a part of riding the cutting edge of world change, that are willing to put in the time and energy and the effort to work with us to create these open source resources, tools, tutorials, and solutions in modular formats that can be implemented as little pieces or as the complete teacher demonstration hub so we can work together and collaborate as a global family, as a global team, as a global community, as one community to create the world that we know is possible. We as a species right now have the knowledge, the resources, the technology to create a world that truly meets the needs of everyone. And we can do it as individuals. We can bring together the people that believe that's possible, that want to do this, and we can create a self-replicating model capable of rippling across the world and impacting every single person on this planet within our lifetime. Simultaneously addressing homelessness and hunger and the lack of energy infrastructure that a third of the human population still lacks. Sanitation, social injustice, education, all of the, these things, addressing them as a complete sustainability approach because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. How can you truly address homelessness without addressing education? How can you address education globally without addressing homelessness? How can you address either one of those things without addressing hunger? How can you address all three of those things without addressing energy? And how can you address all of those things without providing a way of living for people that already have it pretty good? A way of living that's even better, that motivates them to want to help others. A way of living that for those that aren't interested in helping others will provide enough comfort, enough joy, enough abundance, so that what we believe will happen is that when people have enough, when the fear is gone, when the need is gone, when people finally feel comfortable and recognize that they have everything that they need, that they'll be sitting in the middle of a model specifically designed to share itself and teach others how to get, that, get to that place too, to provide that same level of abundance for other people, so that people within that community can help their surrounding community, can help their surrounding state, country, so people can spread the model throughout the world, create other iterations and versions of one community or a, a teacher demonstration hub like one community, so that it can host hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Experiencing it. If they like what they see, if they like what they experience, then they can go out and share it with other people too. So, this is what we're doing. If it sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, we invite you to join us. The easiest way to participate and to help out, if you're not, if you're not interested in volunteering or becoming a pioneer member, the people that will move to one community and build the flagship model, the easiest way to help us out is to share our information on social media. Help us get the information out. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. 
We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We're on Sue. We're on Facebook. We're on all the different social media networks because we want to get the information into the hands of as many people as possible. And we recognize that there are a multitude of different ways that people like to access their information. And so whatever your favorite way of accessing information is, help us share our information, the open source tutorials and resources that you like most, or just our vision, and our overview page. Help share these links on your favorite social media network so we can get the information in the hands of more people. People also ask, well, what's the biggest way to help us out? Well, we're still looking for large scale funding. Our entire organization is nonprofit volunteers. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, but we all want to live this way. We all want to see this world that is possible manifested and realized as soon as possible. So if you are somebody who has the resources or knows somebody with the resources that could help us get the property that we would like to build one community on, the property that we've been focusing on and thinking about and designing around for the last five years, if you'd like to help us own that property, Take possession of that property and put it within our nonprofit organization so that we can share that property and share the building experience and begin the building experience and invite the people, the first 50, 100,000 people that are going to help build that and start hosting people to come and visit and experience what one community is all about. If you're somebody that can help make that happen, that is the number one thing that would help us right now. Otherwise, sharing our information is the easiest thing to do. Getting involved as a volunteer or partner is also very easy. So this is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. This is our idea of a complete sustainability approach. And the, uh, the concept is open source and free shared with everybody. And it's also open to everybody participating in the way that works best for you. So this is what we're up to. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations, the $5, the $10, the $15 donations. Those donations to our nonprofit organization, which are tax deductible, help us to keep operating, help make it so that those of us that are that are putting all of our time and energy into creating one community, don't have to put so much of our money and resources in it other than helping ourselves to survive and, and just pay our basic bills, which we all work other jobs to do. And so the small donations really do make a big difference. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for sharing your information. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send the email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. If you'd like to uh, receive an email via YouTube, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.